There are such huge opportunities if you can understand another culture to walk in another person's shoes. It's a story of us as mankind. These sites are the, the tangible representations of many different cultures. These are places that caught your imagination as a child. A building that has been sitting for 2,000 years, you assume it'll, it'll be there for another 2,000. That's not the case. The entire Roman Empire, we really only understand from fragments. Buildings are degrading day by day, just simply by weather, environmental effects like air pollution, and then more catastrophic effects such as vandalism, terrorism. Urban sprawl has a huge impact on, on sites. We're losing our heritage sites and the stories that they tell faster than we, the human race, can physically conserve them. Imagine yourself as an individual losing your memory. Who are you? I think we just can't take these sites for granted. You lose every day, everywhere, heritage sites. The time is now to do something about it. SciArc's mission is to digitally preserve world heritage sites by using state-of-the-art technologies. We utilize a technology known as 3D laser scanning, which generates tens of thousands of points a second. Um, so all individual data points, XYZ coordinates and, and color and intensity value as well. Our job is to take that raw data, uh, keep it safe for the future, but then also process it and produce derivatives from it, which can be used from, uh, by the public and, and conservators today. This technology allows us to bring them to life and tell stories. The most poignant days at work uh, was uh, the day that we got a phone call that said that the Kasubi tombs had been destroyed, a suspected act of arson. This was no longer there. So a few days later, we got a call, and we got an inquiry, is the data available? And do you think we could use this to help reconstruct the tombs? That really brought to home what it is we're doing. I mean, this is really the jumping off point, and it's time to get going. We felt that we needed to accelerate our effort and to challenge ourselves and our partners to an initiative which we call the SIARC 500. For the SIARC 500, it's going to be very important for us to, to draw on the expertise and the, the relationships we have to document 500 sites across the globe and pull in resources from, from every continent. In the recent years, uh, with a part of my work, you know, going back to China, I have personally seen the historical sites uh, aren't, were not the same as what I saw when I was a child. It's a massive task, um, but it's a challenge that we really want to do. I think it's important for my children to have these um, thoroughly documented and put into this global arc. We spread our technology throughout the world and set up technology centers through local universities and transfer all our knowledge to those universities. And that allows those universities to capture their local heritage and then bring it back to the SIARC archive. We'll take that data, of course we archive it, um, but then we disseminate it over the web and we work with, you know, from local school teachers to develop lesson plans, we work with site interpreters to develop interpretive materials such as virtual tours. We develop uh, apps for smartphones and tablets and we create uh, uh, navigable you know, virtual environments that you can walk around and interact with. We want to bring people together and through the shared heritage uh, maybe we can start seeing that we're, we're one human race. Why are we fighting? Why are we not opening our doors? You can't know where you're going unless you know where you've come from. Um, these sites form part of our cultural DNA. It's uh, a very good idea to also focus uh, to unknown sites. The World Heritage Sites in Germany are secured. There's money to, to keep take uh, care of, of them. But the sites in the other uh, uh, countries, in Africa or Asia or South America, are under a very hard uh, pressure. You go to some of these places and you, you see how they're falling apart and 
there's nothing that can be done because there's not enough time or money in a lot of the developing countries. But what if there was a really accurate record that we could actually learn from today? The digital documentation work and uh, undertaken by SciArc uh, is very important uh, to the human heritage and uh, it allows us and our children to experience uh, once uh, something was there by looking at the, the artifact, uh, the structures, uh, so that uh, we can imagine how at one time uh, and our ancestors lived uh, and worked uh, in those areas. The 500 is a great impetus to get us going in both push the technology and push the sustainability forward. So beyond the 500, this can continue to go and cover as many of the World Heritage Sites as we can.